kau hola kalani. Kau hola ia. Wahwahi kalani. Wahwahi ia. Aloha mai kako o noi lani ai ia ko uinoa. Uh, I'm a member of Malama Kakani Lua and uh, a concerned community member, uh, a descendant of the burials in this area, uh, as well as the uh, plaintiff in Ahia versus DLNR against uh, the state, the county, and town realty, which is to our left over here. Uh, so we're gathered here today to make it clear to the community, to the developers, and to all those in state and county government that we do not consent to any digging in this pa'ilina, in this burial ground. Um, we are in the middle of a litigation procedure. We're still in the preliminary phase and we feel that any allowance of digging before this case is seen through to the end is uh, putting the cart before the horse. This is a known burial area that has been recognized by the Maui Lanai Island Burial Council on multiple occasions going back for years as being a known burial area. What we're asking for in our case is a uh, new, complete, non-invasive archaeological inventory survey to catalog the burials that we already know are in there that are still ca categorized as inadvertent finds. The original AIS found only five Ivi Kupuna in their initial study, uh, and now we're up to 180 Ivi Kupuna, which is why we filed the lawsuit in this case. And so until a full and complete AIS is done, we feel that there shouldn't be any movement or digging of any kind that will disturb Ibi Kupuna in this area. Um, the burial laws were set up to protect Ibi Kupuna, not to make it easier for developers, but what's happened is a process of rubber stamping that's been going on for years. The process uh, is not being followed by the state, the county, or the developers, and it's led to mass amounts of desecration in this area. This whole entire Vahipana is recognized as such in the county plan, and yet the developers have been allowed to sand mine and build on top of our kupuna for decades, and we're here to say that enough is enough. We do not consent, we have never consented, and we will stand here until the last aloha aina to make sure our ivi are protected. We do this in Kapu Aloha, we do this because we love our ancestors, as we know you all love your ancestors, and we are here to be their voice and speak for them. E malama ina ivi kupuna. Aloha mai kako, kia moku kapu koi no na kaula mai oi mai lahaina mai. I came all the way this morning from lahaina because I heard the kahea. And I've been a part of the Barra Council for initially about eight years. Four of those years I was the chair. So back in 2000 when I first started to understand the mix about the laws that are set in place for the protection of Iwi Kupuna, it was very troubling for me back in 2000 knowing that uh, development always coincides with the existing of certain uh, things that is a part of the archaeological inventory survey. And for me, when I got started in the beginning, I didn't like how this development were categorizing certain issues and, and different barrels and agendizing these barrels separately, not making it inclusive, bringing a number to a large amount of Ivi Kupuna that was found back then. So now, today, you know, literally now that I'm no longer on the barrel council, I'm still concerned about it that nothing is being done. The 6E is flawed. The 13300 rules of Hawaii administrative rules are flawed and there is really no strength and voice for the Ivi Kupuna that lay to rest over here. So that's why we take it, you know, very important that we have to come to these things to make sure that our voices are heard, that the community knows that this issue is an ongoing issue and it's not only here. It's throughout the state of Hawaii as well that if you don't have full representation to make sure that the EV Kupuna has a voice, we are the vessels that have to make sure that we are the one to transfer that information to the higher ups to have them understand that this is an important issue and we're not going to go away. In fact, if anything, this day will we, we'll mark the day before the new year, the 2020 of the new year, that changes will happen. It will happen with Kapua Law and it will happen I would say in a most worstest manner if nothing is done by the officials that is responsible to making sure that they protect the Ivi Kupuna of this Vahipana and the Vahipana of many places throughout the state of Hawaii. Mahalo.
Aloha Clarapana from Wailuku. And you know, I've been walking these sand dunes for a decade. I walked here when what's now flattened out here completely was two parallel sand dunes. And in them were our Ivi Kupuna. And they have found so many burials here in this one place. It begs to say, stop going in and digging in our burial, burial grounds. It was a burial preserve when they allowed a grading permit to be issued. That is not right. It's time to stop intruding upon our Ivi Kupuna, especially in known burial grounds as this one is. It has to stop. It is stopping now. Mahalo. Aloha mai, uh, kanilo kamaunu, uh, ahapua a wahee. You know, it's been a, it's been a long uh, journey here dealing with the, the burials. And, uh, you know, it's hard on a lot of us. We've taken a lot of time off of work, off of our personal time, trying to meet the deadlines for the governmental bodies that supposedly is supposed to be standing up for us, protecting all people and not just certain people. You know, a lot of us, are, you know, we're not rich people, but we spent a lot of time, money, and effort on our own to bring this forward. And, you know, people laughed at us, people scorned us, people yelled at us, people did, you know, come out and they protest against us and saying that we have no right to uh, protect what is ours. They have the audacity to tell us that the people are gone already. They make no difference. That they have no worth here anymore because they're gone. And this is a new Hawaii. A Hawaii that's being changed from not only uh, what we were, but just the way you treat and understand and give to other people. The reason we out here today is because we no longer can sit by and allow these things to happen to us. We are good people. We never look for trouble. We never go out of our way to impose upon anybody else. But yet, everyone else feels, and these are the foreigners who come here for the purpose of making money, do it to us. And they tell us we have no rights. We have no property rights. We have no, no rights into protecting our Evi Kupuna. These are people. In our customs, they are people. They still live. Their physical bodies may not be here, but they're here in the ground. But their spirits are still standing with us. Each and every one of us. Look at the people that stand here. This is, this is their place. This is our place. And yet we've been told that we cannot come. We've been told we're trespassing. We've been told that we're the ones making trouble. All we want them is to be left alone. In 1860, they were given a, a protection that they can stay there, that nobody has the authority to move them. Yet we keep telling these people this over and over again. And they keep telling us that we're wrong and that they have the power to change that. And they have the power to dig up our people freely. They crush them. And all the cement, you look on this island, especially the older buildings, the older sidewalks, our Ivi Kupuna's crashed bones are in those cement buildings, in the cement sidewalks. Anything with cement on this island is our people. But yet, it's okay. It's all right. This is the new Hawaii. And we get new Hawaiians. We the Kanaka Maole. This is our lands. And the only reason we're standing here is because they made us come here. People should know that we know how to know nobody. But get times when we're losing everything. We're losing our history. We're losing our footing. We're losing everything. And they expect us to stay there and say, like little good girls and boys, stay on the side. It's okay. Here, money. We don't like your money. We have the right to stand here. 
night time, daytime, anytime. It's our time. This is our place. This is our aina. And people got to realize you can, you can pretend that you own all of Hawaii, but you don't. Because these people right here, all of us who stand, we might be a few, but put us all together on every island. We many and we coming stronger. So the government officials, I have one word for you. You guys better wake up. I told you guys this several years ago. The time is changing. The tide is changing. We coming home and we taking what is ours. So you can either deal with us or we gonna deal with you. Kapu aloha or as other, other means. This is our home. Where do we go? Where do we sit? This is ours. Why are we doing this? Mahalo. Hello, my kako. Um, you know To me, I feel that um, as new stewards of these lands, we have a kuleana. We have a responsibility to malama, what I hope those who have come before us. Um, Naivi kupuna are the backbones of these lands, they are the vertebrae of these lands. And um, it is our kuleana to malama them, it's our kuleana to malama the aina that embody them. And we stand here today because it's not only a, a crime and a genocide to a culture, but it's a crime against humanity. This is somebody's mother, father, brother, daughter, and because of um, Western gain and the pursuit for money, we tend to push a lot of these things behind us. We don't think about these things as people. We look at them as, as a means to, to get to where we need to get to. But we need to understand that these are the ancestors of these lands. These are the backbones of these lands. These are the vertebrae of this aina. And we gotta malama them. Malo. We'd like to call out to the developers and ask them to do the right thing. To do the pono thing. And to stop <laughs> digging. Or better yet, don't start digging today, even though that's, that's your scheduled plan. Please. These are our kupuna. These are our loved ones who are resting. They've been disturbed enough. It's time to stop. Mahalo.